Hi, welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Grocky, and today we're going to put check boxes into BI Publisher RTF templates. Check boxes in our RTF templates sound like they can be very complex, but in reality, they're very simple. Since BI Publisher is not going to try to put a PDF checkbox control inside the end PDF, what it's going to do is actually translate that true false situation that you're going to create with a character font inside the PDF representing a checkbox or for that matter, whatever else you want. Here's the workflow of how we're going to put in a checkbox into our PDFs. We're going to define our RTF template with a checkbox control using the developer menu. On that checkbox, we're then going to find a Boolean situation with our XSL, basically field equal field greater than field less than either a number or a string. Bottom result is that can resolve into a Boolean expression that we're going to hand to BI Publisher server. The BI Publisher server at runtime is going to render that checkbox with a font that you define inside that server's configuration file with either the yes or no value as you define it with that font character set. Now, the most often used character set is the Wingdings checkboxes, and we're going to show you how to set that up. But please remember that once you define checkboxes inside your RTF reports, every server that runs BI Publisher and renders a report must have an updated config file that allows it to map that Boolean expression to the proper font character, whether it be true or false. This does create a maintenance tail in your organization from here on out. So one of the cool things we can do is define the XGO config file on our local machine. So at design time, we can see the real-time results of the checkbox being applied inside our form. As always, all objects shown in this demo are available at peopletoolstechtips.com. I've included an additional small group with just the RTF template, XML data file, and the desktop XDO configuration file. So let's start off with setting up our environment for checkboxes and our RTF templates. Here's a view of our end document with the functional checkboxes. This is a quick report of some pay calendar entries. The checkbox and reports confirm column indicates whether the pay calendar entry is confirmed. There are both checked and unchecked boxes on the report controlled by the rows pay confirm run field. First thing we need to do is enable the developer option on Word's ribbon menu. File, Options, Customize Ribbon. In this column we see the developer option. Check that if it's not already enabled. Now developer displays on the ribbon menu. The final configuration step is to update the BI Pub server's XDO config file on the local machine. This will translate the checkbox controls in the RTF template to fonts on the rendered PDF report. Look inside the BI Publisher desktop directory created when you installed Oracle's BI Pub plugin for Microsoft Word. My installed Office is the 64-bit version. The 64-bit design helper installs in the C program files Oracle BI Publisher, BI Publisher Desktop, Template Builder for Word config directory. The default does not place the needed XDO config in this directory, but there is a template named xdoexample.config. Edit XDO example and save it as xdo.config. The config file has two major sections, the property section and the font section. In the property section, we need to add the property called RTF checkbox glyph. This property has three parameters. First is the font family to use for the checkbox. Microsoft Wingdings is the most commonly used. Second parameter is the font code for the true option. 254 is the checkbox, while 253 is a box with an X in it. The last parameter is the font code for the false or not true option. Code 168 is an empty box. The font defined in this property must also be defined in the font section so BI Publisher can find the font at runtime. Before leaving XGO config, make sure your directory paths to the fonts and the temp directories are correct or BI Pub will generate errors when rendering. Ensure the system temp directory defined here actually exists on the location on your machine. Save before leaving and now we have our local config file correctly configured. 
This is a page I created to show some of the online issues with the PUM and BI Publisher. It's a simple component that just looks at a few rows in a pay counter table showing if a pay end date for this pay group has been confirmed. This is the data for a report. Every server in the PeopleSoft environment that generates a BI Pub report must have an xdo.config file to define the server's configuration. Whether there is a common XDO config for multiple servers or each server has its own configuration file, it must be updated with the property and font for the checkbox glyph. Many Linux implementations, including our PUM, do not come with these fonts installed. Your PS admin should know how to obtain and install the fonts on the servers and update these configuration files. This does create a maintenance chore for the admins for the life of the implementation. Every time a new server is added, a tools or application upgrade is installed, these configuration files must be revisited to reapply the checkbox configuration. This is the XDO config from the app server in my PUM. You can see here I've updated the checkbox glyph. However, since the Wingdings font is not installed, the checkbox will not work from the PUM. Running the report, we see the report with the default font character instead of the desired checkbox in the column. Now that we have our developer menu enabled and our XDO config correctly defined, we can add a checkbox to our report. Place a cursor where we want the new control. I'm going to place the field that will control the checkbox here on the report first. Here is pay confirm run. Now let's just see what that looks like. We have capital Y's and capital N's. Back in the document, let's add the checkbox to the right of that field. Go to the developer menu. Ensure design mode is enabled. Add our legacy form checkbox, not the ActiveX control checkbox. So now set it up. We need a field name from our controlling field. Double click on the checkbox for the properties. Choose not checked and checkbox enabled. Click on the add help text button. Create our Boolean expression, less than question mark field name equals quote capital Y quote question mark greater than. This results in a Boolean value. The expression must be exact to be true. You can use numbers or multiple character strings and it is case sensitive. Numbers do not use quotes around the value. Now back to the template and test our checkbox. We have the checkboxes. When it's Y, it's checked. When it's N, it's not checked. Let's go back and clean up by deleting the original field and close up the grid. Here's our final report with a checkbox in the last column showing the confirmed status of each pay calendar. Using checkboxes with RTF templates is fairly easy. All we have to do is configure our environment insert the control, define the Boolean expression, and then render our report out. All that's left is to put out that report for the users. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you next time here on People Tools Tech Tips.